All right, so this is Vinit here and we are going to study uh, an NPM package named as audit log today. Let us first Google this package. NPM audit log, here it is. Is it going to be this one or this one? We are going to check out the second one, not the first one. Let's check out both in fact and decide on the basis of number of users using these package. So for this I know it's just 299.94. That's that's sad. That's a very low number. Oh. This is more of NPM related audit or something like that. This is not, a, not something that we need to use. And we checked out that this particular one has got very low number. But that's fine. Let's, let's at least see what it provides. It provides audit log require. That's how we import it. Audit log dot add transport mongoose. Okay, it works with our database is like mongodb so it allows us to connect to mongodb we need to pass our database string all right we need to pass our database string and where you sent console uh, this is the target i believe if you want to put it to console or if you want to put it to database Okay, login event. Uh, this is uh, this is what we want. You know, user ID or something. Okay. Maybe script name or function. Second parameter. All right. What just happened? The this is most important. The affected target name, perhaps. Okay. So we need to send an array target ID, additional information. JSON, etc. So basically, we need to pass an array of text. Array of text. Uh, we need to keep on sending text. Whatever. It is up to you. This is just an idea. Need not be that on third parameter what just happened needs to be passed. You can just send in any list of list of text whatever format you want to send one you can send one you want to send ten you can send ten uh, this is a more realistic example that they're giving they're giving a user id app server shutdown process production three instance ec2 instance terminate from web console log another kind of message audit log i think uh, the this is log event okay and this is just log log type here you can pass in log type you can set it log type on the text and the date and time and trace data okay so i can send in uh, log type i can send in some random text that uh, sort of a description the time and the data in its pure sense i can maybe i can convert into um, use json.stringify to convert the data into a string and pass to trace data so if you just send in a message okay in this case um just pass one key with value the key to be message in that case it will automatically set log type to generic and message to whatever you have passed so log type will be set generic in that case so basically okay all right that's it that's it that's it it provides so basically uh you can create your own audit log if you need not use an external application or external package like this you can create all it takes is oh id or something 
pass in the information that stores that information into the database you just need to add a log type so that whenever you want to fetch something uh, basically it's like tags you can put in various tags uh, based on what how you want to fetch it in future uh, you can add tags such as service name where it is originating from add tags such as the kind of uh, in this case they are using warning or danger or uh, success right or failed right and many other it depends on your use case you can set those things uh, as tags right so that's about it that's uh, that's all that is there in this um audit service if you want to create you need not have, need a external package you can create one of your own all right so that's about it for today thank you hit the like button